Well, you know, one out of five people in our country uh, suffers from major mental illness at one time or another in their lives. That's 20%. So you're likely to encounter it. What if it's in your teen? Um, the most common mental illnesses that we see in teenagers are depression and anxiety disorders. Uh, the signs there, uh, boys and girls tend to differ. Boys tend to start to act out and they have behavioral problems. Uh, girls and boys both, though, can can also begin to become isolated. They lose interest in the things that they used to be interested in. That's a major warning sign. I don't want to do sports. I don't want to hang out with my friends. Um, and when you start to observe that, um, it's important to, to be knowledgeable about the symptoms of depressive disorders and anxiety disorders. Why is it important? I mean, easy for me to say, right? It's important because teen suicide is a, is a, is a major, major um, problem that, that is avoided all the time when parents are educated and when, when treatment is offered. The other reason is the suffering. It's just, it's needless suffering. Um, teens are tough because they're moving targets. Their brains are developing, testosterone, estrogen changes. Um, it's all about starting to ask the questions and, and becoming knowledgeable about what the signs and symptoms are. So behavior changes, isolation, depressed mood, irritable mood, all of those things can lead to, and which are all things we see in teenagers, right? But marked changes. Also sleep disturbance, weight gain, weight loss. Uh, grades is a big one. Grades plummet suddenly, and there's no obvious reason why.